Voilà. Hello there. Have you ever wanted to go to a furry convention but you didn't know how to? Boom, now you will. I've been to many furry conventions, so I'm hoping you find this information pretty useful. Okay, so you're gonna wanna find a, a hotel that fits your budget, or just do what I do and go for the main hotel every single time, no matter what. I can usually find people that hog all the floor space up to pay for the room. If you can't do either of those things, you can always find a fellow furry or a friend that you can room with. Keep in mind though, I'm a light sleeper and I don't like snoring. I just gotta bring heavy duty earplugs just to shove in my ears so I can sleep. Now this is really important. You have to have a means of getting to the hotel. I usually just fly out to cons because I want to get there now. Going with friends is always the best option just because you don't want to be bored and it saves you a fuck ton of money. I mean, you can always walk, but I don't really recommend it because you get really tired and you'll be sleeping half the con. No, you don't need a suit. Fursuits are a totally optional thing to bring. You don't need them. The things you should bring are mostly the important things, the deodorant, the clothes, you know, all the needy items. Also keep in mind that if you're flying with a fursuit, you can bring the head on the plane. You can even wear it, but you know, the stewardess will probably laugh at you a lot. They, la they laughed at me a lot. <laughs> friends make the con the best experience ever. So if you don't have any friends like I did my first con, the worst thing you can do is stand around doing nothing. Firstly, you want to you register for the con, so you can, or pre-register for the con, you know, so you can skip the big three-hour line. Then just go do some panels or volunteer for the staff, because that's the, probably the best way you can make friends. First thing draws attention, obviously. But if you're just wandering around like a zombie, you won't meet a whole lot of people. And just go start yelling at people, saying hello, 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 a lot. That's the, that's, the, that's the most famous thing to do, clearly. Go play the random games you see all the first shooters and all the normal people just playing around the lobby. Just go play with them. Don't ask permission to do it. Go up to just random first year saying, oh my god, that's the cutest thing ever. Take pictures of them, you know, just socialize. I have no idea how to socialize, even to this day, but I just still shout hellos and poking people and stuff. In suit, obviously, but <laughs> doing that out of suit would be kind of weird. Asking for a hug is not going to hurt you. Just poke them, open your arms like really big, and then they'll hug you. It's easy. And who knows, maybe they'll talk to you, you never know. <laughs> Another way of making friends I found out is uh, overpaying in the dealer's den. Yeah, you heard me, overpaying in the dealer's den. <laughs> I do it on purpose and they go, Oh my god, thank you! And they're like, oh, you want to be friends? I'm like, sure! <laughs> Other than just having a really swell time at a convention, you should always remember that you're still human no matter what. Food and sleep are an absolute must you must do at all times. Otherwise, you're going to be passed out on the floor, probably in the hospital, and that's not fun at all. Showering is a must if you're a first eater like me. Otherwise, people will smell you and go, oh my god, goodbye. And then you're just gonna be, they're just going to be thinking bad thoughts of you the entire convention. And by the end of the convention, you're going to want to pack your bags and Get ready to head home. Remember, you have my permission to cry on the Uber ride home to the airport. Post-con depression is the worst thing you possibly can feel. But don't you worry, because you'll be back next time with even more experience. Well, <laughs> thanks guys for watching my video. I do love making videos like this for all my friends and stuff, but chances are if you're watching this, it's because of Butters or Nas or Someone has hit you over here, or they like force you to watch Against the Whale, and this is like the cringiest video you've ever watched. Which in, in that case, I'm gonna make you cringe a lot. Thank you, bye bye.